What's up? So I've been on a multitasking kick lately. I watch too many YouTube videos and don't get enough done. Take too long to reply to my emails. I just made a video about how I've partially remedied this by purchasing the Galaxy Note 2 smartphone, which is obviously an Android phone. But in the process of checking all this stuff out, I stumbled upon an app that I had never heard of and no one I've talked to has heard of for the iPad, which is this device. So, it's called Side by Side. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. Focus. Anyway, that's what the icon looks like. And it won't focus because it's being a biatch. There we go. And I'll push on that, and I've got a few things set up already. Not only split screen, but actually four screens. And it's really, really good. And this is a free app with ads, and they're not too intrusive. There they are. <laughs> Speak of the devil. You just hit the X button, and they go away. I don't know how often they come up. I think it's a dollar ninety nine. I just haven't gotten around to uh, paying, but I'm going to because this is awesome. It's not perfect, and it's not lightning fast. This is an iPad 2. I'm sure that has something to do with it. Um... <clears throat> but what you've got, I'll try to be, uh, keep it simple, I don't tell you everything it can do, but you've got this, and you can adjust the size, right, of the windows, which is really cool, alright, so then if you push this S button in any of them, you can change the way that the screen is laid out, maybe you only want to have three, and this one's bigger, right? Or maybe you <laughs> want to have them like that. Uh, it's very customizable, I guess. Um, awesome. I'll take. I want to put it back to the way that it was. See if I can figure out what I'm doing here. Okay. And uh, let's see here. If I can get something to work. Okay. So I've just tried to start a video on YouTube again. It's my own video, so nobody can complain about copyright stuff, or whatever. And. You what have is access up? to it. I'll turn down the volume you here so that I you're not listening to me twice. Got the galaxy down, Note. down, down. All right, but I'll leave it running in the background. So this video is running. Then I'm I can read the newspaper while that's running, just and it zooms. Israel destroys Hamas prime, and that's yeah. I'm I'm not gonna say anything. Anyway, I'm reading the newspaper. Basically, each one of these screens is about the size of one uh, smartphone. <laughs> okay, then here's the map. Let's say I could also open email, but, you know, it's kind of personal, so I didn't. But let's say I open an email. Somebody's like, yeah, you need to go here. While I'm reading that, I can open up a map here. And, you know, with the GPS and stuff, I might be walking down the street reading the email. It shows me where to go all at the same time. I'll probably get hit by a bus or something because I'm being a dummy and walking around and looking at my tablet. But I'm just saying... It's one more way to die. Thank you, iPad 2. And thank you to the dude <laughs> who made this app side by side. And then here's Facebook. Now here's something I haven't been able to get to work, and I think it won't, but this is the intro video to Facebook because this app is new for me. So I haven't um, uh, put in my settings for everything yet. So I, And also I've got the door closed and my Wi-Fi is barely reaching in here, so I don't know what's going on. It looks like it's not going to play. Uh, but, I mean, you can't win them all, right? So, anyway, let's say I don't want to do Facebook anymore. I can do this, and I can choose Web, Notes, Files. And in Files, you actually have the option to choose uh, some different things. I'm still learning how to use this myself. Download it. It's free. Check it out. This is basically a shout-out for an app. <laughs> so, we'll leave that. But, th apparently, you can draw in one of these boxes. But another thing that's neat is you push this star button, and... Well, that's not what's supposed to happen. Hold on. Yeah, I like it. Go away. Okay, let's try it up right up here. Star button. There we go. Oh, come back. Now, these are the things that are kind of ready to go. You've got the start page, Bing, CNN, Dictionary.com, Dropbox. Is that even focused? I'm trying to... Yeah. Facebook, Google Maps, Google Reader, Harmony, which is a drawing tool, New York Times Mobile... Mobile, Twitter, Wikipedia, Yahoo, YouTube, it's, I mean, that's a lot of stuff. And again, as I said in the previous video about the smartphone, when you've got 
access to the internet that opens up a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. One example they give in the description of this app is you could get you can actually play flash based games uh or maybe not flash based I'm not sure but anyway if you get a game and you open it up right and then you do it again on this side you can play two players I don't I probably would never do that but it's interesting to think of the different possibilities because you you can open up uh you know four internet browsers at the same time and have them all running simultaneously and again I'm not sure yet how much this can actually handle uh when it comes to running all this stuff at once but for one person <laughs> just one person doing this um, seems to me that it's gonna be sufficient right because you can only do so much and uh, pretty awesome to know this is on the iPad and really neat that it's quite cheap as well so maybe check that out and I I'm actually gonna go and pay to get rid of the ads right now because I want to support this developer so thanks for watching and I hope this helps somebody it's called side by side you can get it on the iPad I don't know how far back it works, but this is the iPad 2. It works fine, so obviously the newer ones will be okay. I'm not sure about the first one. I'm guessing it probably works, but what do I know? <laughs> and it doesn't. it's not out for the iPhone. So there you go. Bye-bye.